Hey guys, sorry for the delay in doing this video, but here it is. You can use any modulating condensing, hot water heater, or boiler. I would suggest to use quick disconnects there, shark bites, whatever push connects. We're going to go over, hot water goes out, then you get your temperature gauge right here. Um, you can use any ones. Then you're going to get your micro bubbler right here. Micro bubbler goes where it's the hottest, so you need it right there. Then we're going to go to the expansion tank. Now this is a 4.4. Um, it's a good one. You want one that doesn't allow oxygen in, oxygen barrier you want. Now it's autofill. I have no clue. Never used it. You could probably get rid of it. There's no point. You fill with these isolation valves. Relief valve right there. Many to choose from depending on your PSI. Now here's the isolation kit. This is where you fill and you drain your system and you purge it. You fill it up using these isolation kits. And then here's your circular pump. It's only 125th, works good. I have 4,700 feet of tube and it works great. So go down, here's your other isolation kit. You fill right here. Um, this is where you, like I said, you fill it up. Then here's your purge valve. These are your close T's. You can make it yourself or just buy it pre-assembled. Pretty easy to buy it, quick and easy. You use a shut off here just so that if you have to replace parts, um, sweat ball valve, nothing big. And then you got your Y strainer to get rid of all debris that may go back into your system. Then they use a ball valve again and a uh, pressure temperature gauge and then it goes back to your boiler. Now that's your boiler panel. Now your zone panel is going to depend. All you do need to do is add in more pumps. So we go down. Now your isolation kit, you're going to use one of the flange, flange uh, ball valves. So I'm going to show it right here. That's from your one kit that you bought. And then you got your your circulation circulator pump, and then you're going to go with uh, another isolator flange for the pump, and then it goes out to your heat for your manifolds. Then on the return line, you're going to have this is your other zone valve, but same thing. You use your other circular pump install kit piece, circular pump, and then. Uh, isolator flange so if you have more pumps you just do the same thing just have isolator flanges now return just goes up pretty easy goes back to the pump now let's see zone controller depending on what zones how many zones you have just by the correct one and then you go back to your manifolds and you're done so use type L copper use your fit-ins pretty easy if you're good at sweating it and you can make it look perfect and depending on how many zones you have, just add more pumps. So it's not too hard. I wish someone would have showed me this so I could have made mine. But hey guys, thanks for watching.